my channel. Today I have a video, uh, like a remake, a remastered, a reimagining of a video I filmed a few, oh, oh my god, this glass is off, <laughs> filthy. You know, I never clean my glasses. Actually, to clean my glasses, I lick them. Hashtag truth. Yeah, I've, I filmed this video a few years ago. Some of my favorite alternative stores video, and it did quite well. It did quite well. But there were a few brands in that video that don't deserve a mention anymore. I'm not gonna name names, but they don't deserve a mention. <coughs> Too true. So, I thought I'd remake the video and give you an updated version of brands that I personally feel have gone above and beyond or just provide great customer service or brands that I just really am happy to spend my money on. Because if I'm not happy spending my money on them, I don't want you spending your money on them. I'm like, pfft. I'm a cheap ass hoe, can you tell? So I do my compilation videos where I have like hundreds and hundreds of different brands and brands. These are all brands and stores that I have personally shopped from or brands that I do regularly shop from or a couple of them are brands that I shop from once or twice that just provided above and beyond customer service. So let's jump in and get let's get a token. Let's get talking because I got I got other videos to film today. First one. Angel clothing, also known as Kinky Angel clothing. They used to be called Kinky Angel, and I think now they're just called Angel clothing, uh, but their web address is still Kinky Angel. So they are based in Hampshire in the UK. And now I have shopped on and off of Angel clothing for years. They have a mixture of steampunk, demonia, punk rave, punky stuff, poison industries. Does anyone else remember poison industries? I used to love them. And they sell their clothes for not too much cheaper than everywhere else. I say like a pound cheaper than everywhere else. Especially if you want demonias, I found that they are one of the cheaper places in the UK to buy demonias. Literally buy one or two pounds, but hey, that's 100 to 200 penny sweets in your pocket if you can still find somewhere that sells penny sweets. I never send stuff back, okay? I have this thing, I just never ever send stuff back and I will just leave it. I got a little pile over there of stuff that just doesn't fit me and I never send it back and I'll either sell it on Depop or donate it to charity. I, it's just, it's my toxic trait and it happens. But I got some Demonia boots and I needed to send them back because they were over £100. They were £103 to be precise and they were 110 on Attitude Clothing so that's like the price difference. They came really, really quickly. Quicker than me when Rhea Ripley comes on the telly. I've got nice little updates at every point like, Yo, thank you for your order. Your order has been shipped. Your order is going to be delivered today. You know, I like that. Don't harass me, but I like that. So my boots came and they were a bit too big for me. Thanks to Monia. And I was like, okay, I have to send these back. Even if I stick them on Depop, I ain't gonna get that money. I have to send them back. And my brain just doesn't see the urgency in, oh, you've got 30 days to return them. My body just physically doesn't let me do stuff. It gets to 30 days and guess what? My boots are still in my kitchen. So I pop Angel Clothing an email and I was really cheeky and I was like, guys, I bought some boots from you and they don't fit and it's over the 30 days. Is there any chance I can return them? And I fully expected a no. Nope. Nada. Nil. But they replied back to me almost immediately, actually. I'd say within 10 minutes, I had a reply saying, yep, yeah, no problem at all. Just package them up, send them back to us, and we'll take it from there. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, thumbs up, was not expecting that. So I sent my parcel on Thursday, a Thursday. I sent them first recorded, and they got to Angel Clothing on the Friday. They took one day. Thanks for all mail. <laughs> you did something right. One day they took, and I got an email from Angel Clothing. It was early in the morning, so they must have got them really early, um, to say that they had my, my return, and they had checked it over, and everything was good. And they had processed, processed my refund. Wow, that, that was fast. I sent them back on a Thursday, refund was sent on a Friday. Um, and I paid by clear pay, so I think my refund actually like went through uh, back to my bank on the Sunday. But Angel Clothing refunded me the same day that they got the boots back 
over the 30 days. It's little things like that that help my my special brain because <laughs> I was I was so worried because I know Disturbia have a habit of hey I'm gonna out you. I know Disturbia have a habit of if you return clothes over the 30 days, their 30 days, they don't refund you and they keep the clothes because they never send them back to you. Like there's this whole thing on Facebook, people are saying, yeah, they did that to me. They they never refunded. They Disturbia actually told me off because I sent two returns back in one parcel. And other brands, especially, they take so long to refund you. But the fact that Angel Clothing got my got my boots back Friday morning and refunded me the same day, I think, was so lovely that I am so much more inclined to shop with them again now. I mean, I have been shopping with them on and off for years but the fact that they there was do you know what i mean like 100 quid is a lot of money for a small business because they are a small business to miss out on you know if i if i wasn't myself a poor person i would have let you keep the 100 pound angel clothing but i'm broke so that i feel like they could have easily made up an excuse like no you you've you know you've it's over 30 days we're keeping your money selling boots on ebay whatever not my problem anymore bitch but they didn't they were so nice about it and um because of that i will 100 million percent shop with you again and i'm sat here now telling all you guys shop with angel clothing customer service goes a long way i am the worst person at customer service i am not good at hiding my annoyance if you come at me with your i bought this over 30 days ago can i return it i'm gonna be like no no you can't 30 days i'm a spiteful bitch but angel clothing is not a spiteful bitch and they refunded me. <laughs> oh, so more on the actual website. They have some pretty good sales too. Like they had a 69 pound, 69 pound dress, PVC dress that was down to like 22 quid. They have some, you know, pretty good sales. And they offer free, free UK shipping over 29.99. Like I think that's quite low to offer free UK shipping. Not many brands do that, so high five. And they ship worldwide massive thumbs up for angel clothing because your little act of je of letting me return my boots over the 30 days has made me fall in love with you and we're best friends best friends are we mr cum luna misdirection mr cum luna is a small uk based jewelry store from the uk I just said that they make gorgeous silver and stainless steel jewelry i think they make some gold but i don't know gold's not my vibe so i didn't look at that <laughs> i first saw them at bloodstock festival a few years ago they had a really nice stall and i got to like see and feel everything so i could see how you know because when you see a chain online it's like 30 quid you're like oh, that's a lot of money for a chain but then when i saw it in real life and i got to actually feel the weight and i got to hold it it made sense and and I've literally become obsessed with the brand ever since. I have a few necklaces from them. I have some earrings. I even have a personalised necklace from them. Which is why they're in my favourite brands video. Because I made a fool out of myself. <laughs> with this personalised necklace. They ship worldwide. And they have some pretty good sales on too. They've got a really nice She Likes the Dark black and green tote bag at the minute. So let me tell you about my, my fiasco. So they make personalised necklaces in, I think they have two versions, they may have more but I saw two, um, in horror writing and like old, ye old English! <laughs> and I ordered a personalised necklace in ye old English that said Violet, that's my daughter's name and I got it in I think stainless steel and I bought another necklace and I was so happy and i was just so excited to order the, this long chain necklace and my daughter's name as i didn't tell my daughter and she loves stuff with her name on and i knew she'd be really excited when she saw it even though it's for me my order came actually very quickly it came within like three four days i think and it was just one necklace it was just the long pre-made one that i ordered um and i was really disappointed and i was like oh I'm never going to shop with you again. And I sent them a message and I was like, I was really nice, luckily, because 
this would have been really embarrassing if I wasn't nice. I was really nice um, and I was just like, hey guys, I ordered a personalized necklace and another necklace and my personalized one hasn't come. Did you forget it? <laughs> I didn't put that. I don't know why I put it. I just, I could just left it as it, it didn't come. Um, and they replied really um, nicely back and they put, hey, uh, don't worry, our personalized necklaces take about four to five weeks to be made and it will be shipped out to you separately. Um, and then they said it does say on the actual listing that it can take up to six weeks to be made and reach you But don't worry what doesn't usually take that long or something and they were just so nice about it Because all like and then cause I because I ordered it from my phone I, I don't usually order stuff from my phone because my phone doesn't load websites properly And it didn't load the bit on the website that says it takes four to five weeks So when I went on my laptop to complain <laughs> I then went on the website and it's in like big red letters takes four to five weeks to come um, But they resisted the urge to go listen bitch. You didn't read the website. It's in big letters four or five weeks Read it <laughs> they, were, they were just so nice and um, yeah, they could they could have been really twatty uh, do you know what I because uh, I've worked in places like with customer service I bet they've got a tally chart somewhere in their office of people that complain that they're missing a personalized necklace straight away I bet they put a little tick on that tally chart because that's exactly what I would do they were just so nice about it and um and my necklace that I my long chain necklace that I ordered is beautiful it's not like these it's a bit daintier than these ones and it is so well made and it's just gorgeous and my violet necklace um, it's a little bit smaller than I expected it's probably like this big but I'm sure it said the measurements on the website I just didn't read them it is beautiful and I am getting a matching one for my daughter because she now wants one and they come in really nice little black presentation boxes almost with personalized tissue paper and in little black velvet mysticum luna like pouch bags as well it's the little things like that that just make me love a brand they go above and beyond and yeah so they are definitely one of my favorite brands they have lots of coffin jewelry pump i think they've got some pumpkins spiders creepy bits and bobs and they do ship worldwide one from my last video that it's such a good sign that all those years later i still love this brand Exo Umbra. So Exo Umbra is run by a wonderful person named Moose. Genuinely beautiful soul inside and out. Exo Umbra is a slow fashion brand that was started in two, 2014. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> they continue to evolve to this day and you know what, they make me so happy. To just see how far they've come from what they were a few years ago to what they are now. It's just, it's like, it's like watching a sunflower. Cause I, you know, I hate the color yellow, but I love sunflowers. You know, sunflowers, they just don't, like, it's like that. Everything is handmade. They make one of a kind items that they literally make one of, no more no more i know because i tried but they they um exit they released this top that had teeth on it and it wasn't my size and i really loved it um and then it sold and i was like can i can you make me one and they're like no it won't be the same it's one of a kind I'm like, Damn it! my camera just ran out of space their one of a kind items get released every uh i'm not sure how often they put posts up on instagram and facebook on on the website with the date and the time that this upload of the one of a kind items is going to go up and trust me they sell out so fast so you gotta be on it jump on it jump on it and i'm always at work when it happens and i have always freaking miss out because one of the reasons why i love this brand so much is that the whole brand is low fabric waste so you know when you're like if you get little scraps of fabric they do not they don't end up in the bin they get made into scrunchies or accessories or they get sewn onto tops and dresses in weird and wonderful ways that that, that warms my little diy heart because i freaking love to sew i used to sew pajamas for my little brother's toys when i was a kid i'd make like, i'd cut up my nice clothes 
and make little pajamas for, <laughs> for his toys. So seeing like little bits of fabric be used in a way that is productive and makes something really unique, it makes me so happy. They are based in the UK, but they do ship worldwide and clothes come, are you ready for this? In size, small to 5XL. We love an inclusive brand. And they also sell creepy patches as well as clothes. Patches are a fantastic way to jazz up old clothing, especially jeans. If you've got a pair of jeans with a hole in them, I mean, great, that's my aesthetic. But if you've got a pair of jeans with a hole in it that you don't really want a hole in, sew some patches on them, make patch crust pants. But yeah, Exo Umbra sell really, really cool patches with teeth and cre with creepy dolls and eyeballs and heads and bugs and bits and yeah. Their new mesmerized collection is something that would make any motionless and white fan very happy. It's very voices, spirally. I want the whole collection. Plus, like I said, the owner Moose is one of the most genuinely lovely people ever. It's always lovely to support the good guys. They also frequently have stalls at the Satanic Flea Market in London. So if you're about London at the next one, like maybe ask them if they're going but they do regularly have a stall there. Is it a satanic flea market or just the satanic market? I mean, satanic fleas. Are they at the market or are they going to market? I have questions. Let's move on. Chaotic candy clothing. Not my typical aesthetic. It's very pastel goth, pastel colors, kawaii. Don't tell me off. Whenever I say that word, people are like, that's not how you say it. Dude, I can barely speak English. Can't say, Croissants. Croissants. Quas I can't say that pastry thing. There's loads of words I can't say. Don't expect me to speak another language when I can barely speak my own. So Chaotic Candy are based in the UK and their clothes come in size extra small to extra large but they're... I'm not gonna say they definitely can make other sizes but their clothes are custom made so maybe if you're outside of that size range pop them a message and ask if they could make something you know, you know, because uh, she was really nice. They do make some gorgeous PVC clothing. And I had a uh, an incident uh, last year. I went to an event and I needed, I needed a really nice outfit, like a, a, a nice outfit, you know, a nice, nice with an O. And that was really like, <laughs> long story short, I reached out to a brand uh, they let me down, so I had like two weeks to get my outfit for this event. And I found Chaotic Candy Clothing, and I sent her a desperate message. And I was like, look, dude, I have this event. I need. I really love this skirt. Can you do it in this colour? Can you make it like this? Can you put bones on it? Elasticated waist? <sighs> Please help our desperate soul. And she came through. She came through through. I made a whole video about this because I was so impressed by her customer service, the skirt I got, I was just so freaking happy. It was a black PVC skater skirt, it had elasticated waist, it had a zip, it had removable bone straps, that's what I wanted, like I love skirts with suspender straps, and it had PVC bones. She actually makes PVC bat wing ones, which I really want to get my hands on now. Really, really cute pastel, gothy accessories and clothes. Oh, I'm boring myself. But I was so happy with the service I received. Like, I, I'm, I was so annoying. I was literally like, I have two weeks to get this skirt. And I was panicking because this other brand had let me down. And I just, I, you know, I wanted to look good for the event. My parcel came, literally, I think it came, it was handmade. Everything's handmade. And it was handmade to fit me. And it fit me perfectly. And it came, like, within a week, I think. And it was so much better than... I expected. With PVC, I get worried about buying PVC online because you can't tell if it's that paper thin, horrible stuff that as soon as you fold it, it's got a big crease down it. But it wasn't that. It was the thicker, good quality PVC. And she put transparent glittery bones in it and white bones. And it was just, it was perfection. Um, and the fact that she made it 
so quickly for me, even though I was being an annoying little runt. It was so reasonably priced as well. Considering it was handmade, it was a rush order, and she shipped it out to me, it was, honestly, I think it was too cheap. It was too cheap. It was, uh, like, I can't remember because it was sometime last year, but I think it was like 30, 30, 35 quid. It was, it was really cheap for a handmade PVC skirt. Um, you need to up your prices, girl. 100% high five, high 10 to Chaotic Candy Clothing because they are up there. So definitely check them out for all your pastel goth, pastel-y kawaii needs. Adore them. See, this is what I mean. Cause like, I've, d I've worked in customer service. I used to work at Weatherspoons and I worked at Primark. Two of the sh places you can ever work in the UK so I know how horrible customers can be you know I get it I get it I've been there dealing with customers is the hardest freaking job ever and I was annoying and I was pestering her and I didn't mean to I was just panicking because I had, was running out of time for my event and I just wanted to look cute um but yeah she was absolutely amazing and I cannot thank her enough and this was a year ago uh, almost a year. It was a year ago because it was alternative model of the year I went to and that was last March um, And I'm still going on about it because I received such good service. I'm still going on about it. So let's move on Let's move on shall we? To band. Band clothing have been around the block more times than my ass when I was a teenager. I love band. They have they okay seriously they've been around since I was a teen. Before I was a teen, but Band are one that brand that I used to wear a lot as a teen. And the fact that they are still going makes me so happy. So Band are based in the UK. They sell a mixture of 50s flowery dresses to more spooky alternate alternative pieces I'm gonna focus more on the alternative side of the, their business um, because they have a separate website for it and it's called band alternative so that is what I'm focusing on today so band alternative uh, are based in the UK and they sell a lot of what I personally think of as casual everyday alternative wear ripped leggings tartan jeans ripped baggy tops mesh tops cool chain dresses like uh baggy like trip trousers oh my god they also sell split leg black and green tartan trousers so one leg is black one leg is green tartan and i need them but my god band if you happen to be watching please make them in high waist i don't need to be wearing skinny ass jeans and my kangaroo pouch flops over the top like a burger from mcdonald's that slides out when you pick it up i don't need that happening out in public so band um band make the only backpacks i use i only use band backpacks because they're the best okay that's a lie no, they are the best, but my backpack at the minute is if my current backpack is not bad, it's, um, I don't know where it's from. It's from Bleeding Marvelous. Oh, it should have been Bleeding Marvelous on it. Um, but it's my current backpack because it's got ghost face on it and I'm a big scream girl. But band backpacks are my go-to. They are cheap. They're usually around the £30 mark and I personally, I found that they last so well and i do not take care of my bags at all like i'm a literally a chuck my bag across like i'll get on the bus and chuck my bag to the back seat and shout dibs like i don't take care of my bags and band backpacks i found have just lasted the longest with me they don't the straps don't break which is usually the first thing to go and i find for the price especially the quality is there to match it and then and the price isn't even that expensive like I got a black craft cult bag which are based in America so with shipping and customs it was over a hundred pound I got it for my birthday I didn't pay for her shoes and it broke and I was like wow a hundred quid on a backpack the the zips are breaking the green thread all un unthreaded and it the bottom all wore away and then the straps came apart I was like wow if this is gonna happen, I'd rather spend 30 quid on the bag than 100 quid. So yeah, band are my go-to for backpacks. Their clothes as well, I think, are they're quite reasonably priced for 
basic alternative wear you know like 25 pound trousers 20 quid leggings 20 25 pound top you know they're a good price if you just want to like treat yourself you know treat yourself that's my motto treat yourself so more about band you get five pound off when you sign up to their newsletter and a free gift when you spend over 60 squid and they ship all over the world if you go to their website, Band Alternative, I'll put all the links in the description. They actually have a section on their website called Classics, which is which is literally pieces that I used to wear as a teenager that they still make because they have been popular from the days that I first started wearing them. They are still popular. And I think that tells you a lot about a brand, that they don't need to pump out new sh every week every month whatever they've still got these classic pieces that you can mix and match really easily and they've literally been going for years yeah definitely check out band forest ink i love forest ink they are amazing they are such a good brand this one is based in the US which is a pain in the frickin ass when I want to buy from them and then I have to pay customs but I'll get into that in a minute they are a very small family run environmentally conscious alternative brand which means they care about the shiz they make everything is built to last and designed by Forest Inc so no like reproductions of other brands shiz which I see a lot in the alternative world this is all their own designs all their own creations put down on paper and <laughs> and they are available in size extra small to 4xl that is the us sizes i forget that the us sizes are different to our sizes so every time i order from them i forget i, f I forget that there's a size difference so don't make that mistake <laughs> I find this brand to be really customer inclusive. They upload um, pictures and especially on their TikTok, loads of videos of pieces that they've got coming up and they ask you, do you, you know, should we do anything to this sample? Should we make it shorter or longer? Add this, remove this, what would you like to see? And I love that. It's almost like alternative brands tell you this is what you're having, but Forest Inc is like, would you like some of this? For example, they have on their Instagram at the moment, they uploaded a picture of some, some shorts, or it might have been a video of some uh, swim shorts, and they were really long. They were like knee length swim shorts. And they said that they were gonna cut them into like Buddhist swim shorts. And I commented and I'm like, please, 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 I don't know what I put, but like, basically please don't do that. Everywhere makes booty swim shorts. We need some alternative long swim shorts for us that don't necessarily want our bums out. And you know, I got a mum tum, so high waist. And if you can keep my thunder thighs in check, that is a massive bonus. My comment got so many people saying, yes, I fully agree. This is what we want. We the people have spoken. And they took that on board and I, love that i love 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 that so much they're actually listening take heed in what i say donald trump they're listening to what the people want they're not telling you what you want it's just because i was watching donald trump donald trump tiktoks last night i've got him on my brain puerto rico <laughs> china I literally I went down the Donald Trump rabbit hole. I was on the toilet for an hour last night. Like, I'd finished weeing, but I was just watching Donald Trump say, Puerto Rico. <laughs> they make swimsuits, lingerie, dresses, tops, uh, pajama sets, socks. Their socks are like literally some of the comfiest socks ever. I have this thing where I always have to wear two pairs of socks. My Forest Inc. True, cr the true Crime theme socks are the only socks that I have that I will wear one pair because they are so soft on my skin. They offer free US shipping over $95 and if you're in the UK, oh and they have the most beautiful kimono cover up ever and I have it and it's literally my favourite piece of clothing ever in the whole freaking world. It's spider webs with mesh 
and little sleeves and it's honestly the most beautiful piece of clothing I've ever seen in my life and you need it. If you're in the UK, Attitude Clothing sell some Forest Ink. They don't have a huge range of it, but um, I don't know, pop them a message and say get that kimono in and then people in the UK can buy it without customs. And if you're in Australia, Berserk also sell Forest Ink as well and Berserk have a custom um, actually, if anyone's in Australia can help me out with this, Berserk sell a custom black and green stripe forest ink dress. You can't buy it anywhere else. You can only buy it from Berserk, I think. If anyone can buy me that and, and send it to me, like, I will, I'll pay for it. But I just don't want, you know when you buy stuff from a brand and they charge so much and then they put the real cost on the packet? And then you get shit uh, customs, but I feel like if if a friend send it to me, they could just put a gift and like it doesn't cost anything, and then I won't get customs. <laughs> yeah, so attitude and berserk sell it. But if you buy direct from Forest Inc., it helps them out more. Forest Inc. have 967 five-star reviews on Yupto. No idea what Yupto is. It sounds like a yogurt. Mom, get the Yupto! I'm thirsty! But 967 is a lot. They offer free US returns and they do mystery subscription boxes too. We love a bit of Forest Inc. Let's have some makeup. Jolie Beauty. So Jolie Beauty is a small brand based in the UK and I love them. I feel like they have a makeup palette for each of my personalities. They literally have palettes for every mood. They have neon one, pastel one, forest one vampire themed, um, the sorcery witchy one, which is my vibe. They have glitter palette, nude one, <sighs> not page free nude, just like naked nude. But the sorceress palette is me. If I had to design a palette, th like the sorceress palette would be it. It's got every shade in it I love and I use every, it's very, very rare that I find a palette where I use every single shade and the sorceress palette is it. If my house was on fire and it was a choice between saving my husband and my palette, you know, I might open the window for Ben. But sorry family, mommy needs glittery eyelids. Their eyeliner pen is 100 million percent my favourite eyeliner pen ever. Oh, I, I love it. It's like a big fat felt tip. Ben, your eyelid is the canvas. Draw me like one of your French girls. Out of everything from their website, my go-to is their liquid eyeliner and their palettes. Their lipsticks, you know, they're a bit drying. I do like them, but I have to put lip balm over the top because uh, my, you know, blah, palettes. Their lipsticks do come in some amazing shade ranges though, like weird and wonderful shades. Loads of purples, greens, pinks, blues, black, loads of reds, nudes, don't know what else they got. And for those of you that like a little bit extra, they sell mystery boxes. I can hardly contain my excitement! Order before 2pm, let's be nice Emily, Monday to Friday for same day dispatch, and they ship worldwide. It's a small brand. I believe it's run by one woman and she does really lovely tutorials on TikTok as well. So definitely check her uh, Jolie's TikTok out. I will link everything in the description below. She does lots of live videos and does makeup looks with the palettes and everything. And I just, I love it. I get so much inspiration from her. Their website also has a really nice blog of how to apply fake lashes, which they do sell. How to cleanse your face and just some like genuinely nice, helpful tips. I really like this brand. I find because the owner has TikTok and I find when you can see someone's personality like it just makes me like them even more um, and their eyeshadows are so good. Get the Sorceress palette. It's actually what I'm wearing today. Um, the, the cheeks and it's the Sorceress palette and it's legit my favourite. I love it. Kate's. Kate's, Kate's, Kate's. Kate's, 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 I love you, I love you. So Kate's clothing, I think I put Kate's clothing in the last video as well. Kate's clothing are a, a hub of other brands. So they sell Killstar, Punk Rave, pff, so many, so many brands. 
can't think. Hell Bunny. I'm, I'm trying to think. They sell loads of other brands all in one place. So I find it a lot easier to shop on websites like that because then I can save a lot of money on shipping rather than going direct to the website. And if I do fancy a bit, you know, a little bit of Killstar, Killstar get less money out of me because Kate's paid wholesale price. Then my money goes to Kate's rather than Killstar. This is how I rationalize it in my brain. I just love Kate's clothing. So they ship out items so freaking fast. Frequently I have ordered stuff and within 10 minutes it's been like, your package is on the way. I'm like, oh, wow! Is your delivery driver the roadrunner? Their returns are pretty easy too and their size guide is pretty accurate. They have sizing size guide on everything and I find that their size guide doesn't always line up with brands size guides so Killstar for instance they'll say like a medium is a 12 to 14 and Kate's clothing will say a medium is a 10 to 12 and I find that Kate's is more correct so I tend to go by their sizing rather than what other websites say. They also have reviews under every item, which I really, I'm a big fan of. I really appreciate it. Oh, my camera just ran out of battery. Why can't I not be prepared? Be prepared. So where was I? Something about reviews. Oh, I'm out of breath now. <gasps> Go back to the gym, Emily. God damn it, it's been like six years. <sighs> so Kate's clothing have reviews under every item, which I find so helpful because they, that's helped me buy and not buy so many items. Like I said, I don't like to return things, so it's just effort, isn't it? It's just effort. The, and having reviews under each item has really, really helped me get clothes that fit and not waste my money on things that maybe you don't deserve it and some reviews have said like this is so expensive wait for the sale and then I've got it in the sale and I've been like oh shoot man I definitely you know if I'd paid 70 quid for this I would have cried myself to sleep for weeks but the fact that I got it for like 15 quid <sighs> They have a rewards point scheme, so you can earn two points for every one pound you spend. And that adds up over time and can be converted into money off vouchers. Think of it like a Tesco club card. And I find Kate's clothing as a whole to be cheaper than like anywhere else on the internet. If price is what you are looking for, I Kate Kate's is it. Especially like, oh my God, their sales. Their sales are unreal. Insane in the membrane. They're so freaking good. They will have like 30% off clearance sales. And the clearance is already good. But they'll have 30% off it. And it's like, wow, you, you're like paying me to take this stuff. <laughs> it's so damn good. And I get my Manic Panic from Kate's Clothing. My hair is Electric Lizard by Manic Panic, which if you look anywhere online, it's between 11 and 14 pounds. That's a lot of money for hair dye. Kate's Clothing sell Manic Panic hair dye. $7.99. Yes, just $7.99. It gets better. I also have a discount code for Kate's Clothing. And you can get 20% off everything. Everything. Sale, check. Clearance, check. Panic Manic, check. Brand new items, check, check. This is my code, use it. Get 20% off. I buy my own Manic Panic and use my own discount code and get really cheap hair tie. <laughs> Love it. I love you, Kate's clothing. And everything comes so quickly. And it's a, it's a small UK brand. I think it's only run by like four people. I could be completely making that up. But I feel like I read that somewhere. And considering it is such a small team, supposedly, <laughs> they do a freaking amazing job. And you need to support them. They do amazing. <laughs> They offer free UK shipping on orders over $39.99. Yes, just $3.99. And they ship worldwide. We love a bit of Kate's, we do. Kate's is actually like genuinely my go-to. If I'm feeling sad and I want to buy, you know, treat myself and, and, you know, when I'm feeling down, it's add to cart that lifts me up. Um, Kate's is honestly where I go. I must have loads of reward points on there. I'll have to have a look. Firmu. 
Now this is a random one. This is a random one, but I gotta tell you, I have had so much experience with Furmu, I can't not put them in this video because I love them. So Furmu are a glasses manufacturer. These are not just any glasses. These are M&S super glasses. But don't worry, if you don't wear glasses, like they make fashion, fashion glasses as well as prescription ones. Now I have astigmatism and I have so many problems with my eyes. I was just in hospital because of my eyes. Firmu are one of the only places online that make prescription glasses with my prescription because it is so high. They don't have glasses with bats on or ones with coffins or ones with bats coffins but they have more kooky eyewear so like heart shaped ones hexagons cat eye ones just funky shapes in funky colors it's really cool how much a pair of glasses can change your appearance and i mean look at superman no one knew he was superman because of the glasses these came from firmu and i will link these in the description below because I always get asked where I got my glasses from. If you watched my what's really in my bag video, I had the big heart shaped glasses. They have some really cute designs on there. I just think they deserve a mention because glasses are a rip off. So let, we're gonna get into story time now. Even though spec savers saved my life, we're gonna get into story time. So many, many years ago, I went to Vision Express in the UK to get my eyes tested. And uh, because I have astigmatism, um, they wanted to charge me £300 for my eye test and my basic glasses. Like, just basic. This is back during my rectangle glasses days. Let's pretend that that never happened. So I took my sweaty little ass. I was in college. I had no money. To Specsavers. Specsavers promote themselves as offering £25 eye tests. And I thought that was it, you know. Um, so I got my eyes tested and my glasses at Specsavers were £69. So I was like, even with £69 and £25 eye tests, that's still less than £300 from Vision Express. So let, look, we'll round it up. We'll say about £100. So around about £100. My camera died again. I definitely need a new camera. I mean, I've known that for a while, but I don't have any money. Anyway, I forgot where I was. I think I was like raging about Specsavers and Vision Express. So uh, Specsavers wanted to charge me a hundred pound, which about a hundred pound, which I thought was all right, considering I'd been asked for 300 from Vision Express. But then let me tell you, boys and girls, and everything in between. So when you go to Specsavers in the UK, they do your eye test and they take you to this very limited wall of very boring glasses. And they're all like the same. Like this one's got a little, <laughs> They're very standard versions of squares and rectangles and ovals. There's, there's nothing too exciting. For a long time, I went for my standard rectangle horrible... <laughs> because I f kind of forgot that glasses are an accessory. They are a piece of you that you can... You don't have to have the boring grandma reading a book over the stove spectacles. You can have really funky eyewear that doubles up as a cool accessory as well as helping you not walk in front of traffic. So I, what I did is I got my prescription from Specsavers. My partner said try Firmu. So I tried Firmu, logged on, found these ones, absolutely love them. They have a virtual try on, so you can upload a picture of yourself and, and you know, you do this and this and this, and it puts the glasses on your face so you can see how big they'll actually be. These are like 25 pound and they are prescription. So I can see so clearly through, <laughs> I can see clearly now I've cleaned the lenses. And I actually have these same well, very, very similar glasses, also from Firmu, in sunglasses as well, with really dark purple lenses. And they were also about 25 quid, and they take about two weeks to reach you, which isn't too bad for prescription glasses. But I have very, very high prescription, so a lot of online glasses places don't have eyewear for me, but 
Firmu, like, and they don't charge extra because you've got extra eye needs, which I really appreciate as well. Honestly, I just love them because they have so many cool designs. They have your basic ones too, but they, they have some cooler ones. And I think they can turn any of them into sunglasses. That is a think. I, I don't fully know if they can. But their sunglasses they do, you choose the colour of the lenses as well. So I went for purple. They had black, green, blue. I might get some green ones next actually. Um, I think they had yellow or red. As soon as I stopped seeing glasses as eyewear and I started seeing them as an accessory, I started to look for more cooler ones and that's when I found my heart shaped ones. And um, yeah, it's crazy how a pair of glasses can completely change your look. Big thumbs up to Fermu because they're so cheap. They've lasted so, I mean, I've had this pair for about three, two, three years now and they're still going strong. 25 quid they were. Right, so I think that's it, because I've been sat here for ages, and my camera keeps dying, and my batteries keep going, and I've, oh, frankly, I've had enough. I've had enough. So before I go, I'm gonna give some honorable mentions. These are not necessarily my favorite online places to shop, but they are places that I really like. They just haven't gone like above and beyond what I, um, to be like the best. Do you know what I mean? I'd go out on a date with them, but they wouldn't be getting any hanky-panky afterwards. Maybe just hanky-wanky. So like, let's talk budget. I'm gonna go through these ones really quickly. Poundland. At Halloween, Poundland in the UK, even though nothing is a pound anymore, Poundland sell tights. And they do fishnets, black and white stripy ones. They do black ones with white bones on them. Last year they had black and green stripy tights. They go up to size large, which is about an adult UK size 10, which sucks. But what I, but they're a pound. And what I do is I cut the crotch out of them, cut the feet off them, and use them as arm sleeves. And that is a great way to just have a little extra accessory. And that's something that I do every Halloween. I stock up on my tights from Poundland. Um, because they do get stretched out after a while and then they don't fit as tight. I suppose it's really bad for the environment. But then I use them as ferret bedding so they don't go in the bin. But um, honourable mention to Poundland and your Halloween tights. New Rock. New Rock are one of my favourite alternative footwear brands. I would just spunk all over their shoes if I could. Um, I love New Rock. They will last you for years and years and years. They're not in my absolute favorite, favorite, favorites because I've unfortunately, like every brand, I have seen a difference in their quality. They're still up there. They're just not quite up there. They're just kind of up there. And I still think they're worth their money, especially since cheap rubbish brands like Koi have shoes for a hundred pound when you can get new rocks that will literally last you 20 years for like 150. The official new rock website often has really good sales and they have new rocks for like 50 quid. That is not an exaggeration. There is a Facebook group called Alternative Addicts Anonymous, something like that. Alternative Clothing Addicts Anonymous. And someone will post in that group, quick head to new rock. They've got New Rock boots for 69 euros, 50 euros, and, and I, uh, they're so cheap. I mean, I got my favorite ankle New Rocks for 25 pound from TK Maxx, and I wear them all the time, and they're still going strong. I have just seen a difference in the quality from what they were to what they are, but I still absolutely love them, and if you're gonna buy any alternative shoes, I would definitely recommend you go down the New Rock route. Punk Rave. I adore Punk Rave, especially punkrave.ch. I have 30% off discount code over there. If you sign up to their newsletter, put everything in the description, you get 30% off. The thing with Punk Rave though is it is so expensive. I wish I could wear Punk Rave every single day because their clothes are so nice, but it is expensive. And their stuff is Asian sizes, so you do have to size up. And then that sometimes makes me feel bad about myself. Oh no have to buy a size that isn't my size. I'm just like, I hate clothes labels anyway. Like I will go to H&M and Primark, um, which I don't really shop in H&M anymore. Or Primark, I never really go to town. I'm a big size in H&M and Primark. And then I'll go to like Poundland's clothes and I'll be a size small. And it's just, 
<gasps> Where do I fit? Arr! Yeah, Pungrave, I absolutely love their stuff. It is just very expensive. They are a luxury brand and I think the quality does match the price, but the price is high. You can get Punkgrave as well from Kate's Clothing and you can use my 20% discount or you can get it from punkgrave.ch and sign up to their newsletter and use my 30% discount. But Punkgrave is one of my faves and they do black and green stripy sweaters which I have and I adore and um, yeah they are one of my favourites and just just their sizing is just weird so that's why they're not in my like favorite favorites and last but not least bleeding marvelous i would have put these in my favorite favorite favorites but i completely forgot about them until i was talking about my ghost face bag i love bleeding marvelous they are a horror merch themed store and i've hung out with the guys that run the store it's very very small uk run business um and they do a lot of conventions they are just some of the most genuinely lovely people ever so if you want to treat yourself to some horror film merch stranger things jaws i'm trying to think golden girls scream halloween chainsaw massacre anything especially gifts they have some wonderful things for gifts for people definitely check out bleeding marvelous follow all their social media because they do a lot of conventions they are so wonderful to just stand and to just have a chat with they're just such lovely guys and they're based in peterborough so like not even too far from me either so bleeding marvelous massive massive thumbs up their customer service is absolutely top tier and they would be in the absolute top of this video i just forgot about them <laughs> Look, I've had a stressful week, all right? I've forgotten how to be me, and I'm trying to, after hospital, because I went, oh my God, as, as if I, did you know I've been to hospital? Because I've been chatting about it like nonstop. They took out my, they, my brain fluid, and I think they took too much because I've forgotten so much. So saying all of that, all these brands, all these shops and whatnots, my favorite place to shop is Depop, charity shops, thrifts, eBay. Not so much vintage because they ripped me off. I love charity shops. I love secondhand goods. I love DIY. But I, you know what? I just love a charity shop. Get your friends together and have a charity shop day. Just go around, go around your town, stop for some lunch and go do some charity shopping. I'm, I'm going to do a vlog of me charity shopping with my friends at some point. It's just when you're an adult, it's very hard to get the time off altogether. But yeah, we're going to do that at some point and... We're gonna find some bargains and then maybe I'll do another video where I like customize the bargains and you'll get to see all the awesome stuff we get. DIY, Depop and all that are my absolute fave. That's where I legit shop the most. But if I want new stuff, I go to the brands in this video. I think that's everything. I would love to know your favorite store. Are there any shops that you have been with online that um, have gone above and beyond and made you feel like wow like like they care because i know it's a business and they don't have to care but when you feel like they care it just just makes you feel special doesn't it let me know i really hope you enjoyed this video i have legitimately been sat here for about three hours and my camera's died like three times my memory cards have got blocked they said something about they can't keep up with the motion there's too much motion in my ocean. I don't know, my camera's fucked. So I'm gonna go, because I have another video to film <laughs> before I do the school run. If you can, check out my Patreon because it it's what keeps my channel going and it would mean the absolute world. And if you wanna tip me, because you love me, I'll put my Ko-Fi link in the description below. You can buy me a hot chocolate and keep my insides all warm and fuzzy while I go for my charity shop day with my friends. That's it guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I I love you and I will see you very soon with another video. Much love boobs, take care of yourself and most of all, stay weird.